the summer. Just a month ago, we saw nearly 500 hospitalizations. And Alabama now sits at negative 29 ICU beds available. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough explains why the situation is so troubling no matter how you spin the numbers. Most hospitals in the state of Alabama are now out of readily available ICU beds. On Tuesday, Alabama had 1,568 people needing care in the ICU, but only 1,557 beds statewide are actually designated for ICU level care. So that meant that in the state as a whole, we had 11 people more needing ICU than we had beds for. The president of the Alabama Hospital Association says that doesn't mean those patients didn't receive care. He says it also doesn't mean they didn't receive ICU level care. It just means that it's harder and harder for people who to go to their usual point of care and assume that if they need an ICU bed, they're going to get it in an expeditious fashion and that they're actually going to end up in an ICU bed. They might may find themselves in an ER getting ICU level care in the ER for several days. Throughout the pandemic, hospitals have been forced to convert non-ICU spaces into ICU areas. We're having to put breathing tubes in patients, really young patients, um, a lot more frequently than we had to back in the winter. And the Delta variant could very well cause even more trouble down the road if not contained. The Delta variant is the least dangerous virus variant we're gonna deal with going forward. Everything from here on out is almost certainly going to be worse than the Delta variant. All the more reason to mask in public and get vaccinated. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.